and welcome back to Tattooing Table Flip. I'm Jimmy and today I'm going to be unboxing Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, Jack the Ripper, and West End Adventures. Let's get this thing open and have a look, shall we? Okay, well, as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty hefty box. It's quite heavy. The magnifying glass is embossed. It's a, it's a very nice, very sturdy box. Oh, it's a uh, nice slip cover. Wow, there we are. Let me give you a, a look at the back of the box there. You can see some of the components. What we have here is a, similar to the first edition, the first Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, we have a, uh, a rule book that is uh, very slight. It's very thin, uh, printed on some decent quality paper. It's not glossy, but it is decent paper. Uh, introduction, object of the game, the contents, and we'll go over, of course, all of that stuff here in a minute. List of informants, and then the case books, the Jack the Ripper campaign, some information on that. Game setup, overview, the end, and how to score out. Uh, next we have the London Directory. Let's see if I can get it open here. And, uh, oh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, again, this each listing in the directory here corresponds with an area on the map of London. So as you visit the places, you can find the name and the area where they're at and then look on the map. And it also corresponds to the case books. So you can find the appropriate uh, section of the case book to read as you're trying to solve the crimes. Well, here we have a, again, just like in the first edition, a full color map of London. That's very nice. Again, divided into the districts. Oh, double-sided. Again, it says London Whitechapel. Okay, so this is a map of Whitechapel divided into districts. So one side is Whitechapel, the other side is the whole of London. Very nice. Nice thick paper will hand up, hand, uh, will uh, stand up to repeated handlings. Uh, next we have what appears to be daily newspapers. And in the first edition, all each it had the daily newspapers as well. And each of them corresponded to one of the case books uh, by the date at the top. So there's information potentially hidden in these, so I'm not going to show too much so we don't spoil anything in case someone freeze frames and tries to read them. And then here we have what appears to be the case books themselves. Oh, these are very nice. Heavy, glossy paper. I will just flip through these briefly so we don't have any spoilers. I've, I haven't played through this myself, so I don't want any spoilers either, but. Oh, there's a, an envelope in the back that apparently possibly play, pay, plays similar to some of the legacy games that are out these days. But uh, yeah, very nice. Chapter one, chapter two, oh, I see. And it appears to be the names of the Ripper victims. Marianne Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, and Catherine Eddowes. That's chapter three, and that's a, it's very thick. That's a thick one. Wow, nice. Chapter four, Mary Jane Kelly, also very thick. And oh, looks like those four are the Ripper campaign. And then now they just go to fifth case, sixth case. This is Dr. Goldfire. Sixth case is the murder of Sherlock Holmes. The seventh case is a question of identity. The eighth case, the death of a Transylvanian count. And the picture is of a man in repose with a what appears to be a stake through the heart. The ninth case, the Savage Club. And the tenth case, a simple case of murder. 
Very nice components. 10 books, all fairly heavy duty. Nice slipcover box. Really, really nice. And they all, of course the box is large enough, everything fits back inside just fine. So no problem returning the components to the box. Really nice. Well, there you have it. Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, Jack the Ripper, and West End Adventures. Very, very, very nice set. I really, really like the quality of all these components. Uh, nice heavy box. As you saw, it was a slip drawer. The books are all uh, fantastically put together. Every, full color map, dual sided. Uh, the daily newspapers, everything is just really, really slick for a game of this type. I can't wait to dig in and play. Hey, why don't you uh, give us a thumbs up down there and subscribe if you like our videos. Also, you can catch us on the internet at BoardGamerBlues.com or at Facebook and Twitter at BoardGamerBlues. I'm Jimmy. This has been Tatooine Table Flip Unboxes, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. And if I'm not done in by the Ripper, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Oh, what a bloody, bloody foggy night. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. I will have a brandy. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Do you know, I, I heard from the commons that they're thinking of giving women the vote. Yeah, no, I wouldn't give women a goat. <laughs> Bloody harlots. Oh. Yes, well, yes, well, I don't think Jack the Ripper's that that bad a thing, oh, really. No, not really, no, between you and me. Oh, no. And what of Professor Elemental? Oh, what a hell. damned fool! Well, don't ask. Last I heard, he was making some kind of contraption to turn jam into a no. new fuel. Nearly set fire to the House of Commons. Oh.